Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Maddles and today I have got a best of three, oh yeah, because I've been doing lots of best of ones recently so I'm just like yeah, best of three time. And it is from the Zota Cup monthly finals, it is a Zerg versus Protoss and I'm pretty sure it's going to be fairly fun. So sit down, get comfy, get yourself a cup of tea and biscuits because that is certainly what I've done and let me introduce these two players spawning. In the top left position, we have got the blue Zerg player from Team Liquid. It's T-L-O. And his opponent down. In the bottom right, warping in for the Protoss. It is the orange Protoss player. It's Tails. Now, both of these two are pretty awesome players. I really like both of them. And I apologise. Well, actually, I don't apologise because it's, it's quite good. I'm rather hyperactive. I have had so much sugar today, it is untrue. A friend of mine baked me some shortbread and it was really good and I had pancakes for lunch before that with tons of maple syrup on it. So basically, my brain is just buzzing with energy and my pancreas is crying a little bit because I've taken on too much sugar. But that's fine, it's all good. I don't have diabetes yet, may do if that's even possible from having too much sugar, but generally, I'm pretty hyperactive, so I'm glad to be casting a game as opposed to just sitting around, because if I was playing right now, my APM would probably be over 9,000. Just saying. Now, in terms of openings, we've got Tails is going for a Forge first. Hatch first after... Oh, TLO, you've got Hatch first up against the Forge first. And this is bad, and my voice went really high-pitched, because this means, with a Forge, that a Pylon can come down here, or here, or here, or pretty much anywhere around here, and then cannons can go down, and then this hatchery dies. Luckily, though, Overlord is going to spot Probe. What's TLO going to do? Okay, Probe's coming in. Probe's just like, yo, hey there. Hey there, YOLO Pylon is going to go down. Okay, ready? Here we go, Pylon down. So, this is a cannon rush, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it looks like. TLO is now aware of it. He can seize that Pylon. And he's just going to be like, okay, drone pulled. Better pull another drone too, because I do not want a cannon going down. TLO, you need to stop this probe. The probe is the dangerous thing. The probe is going to put down a cannon. TLO is now scouting, saying, oh, damn it, there's a forge first. Okay, cannon, cannon down. Okay, cannon one down. Cannon two going to go down. Set cannon three going to go down. Okay, this is really bad now. And um, I wasn't just counting cannons, I was counting how much trouble TLO's in. All of the drones now getting pulled. Can he hold this off? Uh, no, because there's another pylon coming down. So now he can't even focus the pylon. This hatchery is dead. There is next to nothing the TLO can actually do about keeping this up, as far as I'm concerned. The probe is running away, but three drones are chasing. That means less drones are trying to kill cannon. Cannon now finished. Spine call is coming down. This is a good response, actually, but these cannons are going to do a fairly nice amount of damage, to be fair. They're going to just, like, start picking away another photon cannon coming down, too. The Zergings are going to come and try and stop this cannon, and it may actually be forced to cancel, and there we go. So the cancel does go down, but a lot of Zergings died in the process. So this hatch actually managing to stay up for the time being, but more cannons are being made. Oh my goodness, cannons are just coming down everywhere. There's even a cannon back home, because cannons everywhere is fun. Hatchery slowly taking damage. The spine callers can move forward to try and take out these cannons now, but obviously with more cannons finishing up all the time, they're gonna have a bit of a tough time actually. And one going off creep there, but one cannon just in range, uh, one spine in range of a cannon, which isn't quite done. But the back one will get done in time. More cannons are still coming down here. This hatchery, this is a big commitment though for Tails. That's really worth noting. That Tails has committed so much to making this work. There is hundreds and hundreds of minerals invested in this push. So if he doesn't kill the hatch, which I think he should just be able to do now, it will be pretty tough. Needs to focus the spine caller though, because Zerglings could start coming in. But he's focusing the hatchery at the moment. He just desperately wants to get that killed. ASAP. Here comes down another cannon though. It's about to finish up. Will the Zerglings be able to kill it off in time? Well, the spine caller is doing a nice job with the hatchery. There it goes down. That is what Tails needed to achieve to make this even remotely viable. But look at the resources lost. Fairly equal still. TLO coming off a little worse for wear and of course losing this hatchery. That's the big problem for him because guess what? Tails still has the natural nexus up. This has worked out really quite well. Uh, TLO also has no more Zerglings left. He committed all of them trying to save his hatch. He's now to pull back. He's getting the gas and a roach on because if at first you don't succeed, go and kill your opponent with a roach all him. Or try and take out these cannons with roaches. Slowly chip away with the spine callers too. The creep stream are luckily down, so at least you've got some creep spread here. 
probably can get a spine caller into a position where he can take out that pylon, maybe. But the hatchery having to come down to the third, that's of course awkward. For the moment though, look at how far behind Tails is. This cybernetics core massively behind where it should be. And as a result, it's just all the timings are thrown off. That was still a big commitment here. But for the most part, TLO is going to take his, what was his third base, going to get some roaches out, going to be like... Okay, well, I've lost my natural, but this game is not over yet. I am a fighter. I am going to make this work. I'm going to swarm you with the might of the Zerg, but not too much is going to come down here because the sentry's coming out now. So it tells us, just like, okay, macro mode up behind this. That's what I need to achieve. 33 probes to 24 drones, though. Two bases for the Protoss, one base for the Zerg at the moment. These are not figures which TLO is going to be too happy about. There's no doubt about it. He's a bit behind. For the time being. Even though the resources lost is fairly equal. 11 more lost for Tails. It's just the lack of a base. That's what's really painful for TLO at the moment. He still doesn't have his natural up. He's getting a couple of roaches out. So can come and knock out this photon cannon and pylon if he wants to. Needs to just be a little bit cautious though. Because he's going to lose that spine caller if he doesn't get some help from the roaches. But all of it just going to focus on that pylon. Get it killed ASAP. And the roaches. One's going to go down. A second one also going to fall. And this is where things are actually quite problematic for TLO. Because... That's another, well, two roaches dead just to try and clean this out. His third base is finally getting started up. What kind of tech are we going to get out? Okay, this pylon placement is really quite indicative that we're going to get some nice tech play coming out. Or potentially going to get some tech play coming out because you can hide stuff up here. May not be as well, but you can just use it for the warp in. It depends really which way Tails wants to play it. Judging by all these gateways, it's not going to be that tech heavy. I thought he was going to because he's got four gases up. And if you've got four gases and you put this pylon here, usually you see some kind of tech coming down. But Tails is like that. Nah. Not going to do any of that. I'm going to get lots of gateways and flood you with lots of gateway units. Knowing that your production is going to be hurt because I killed your natural base, you're not going to have to drone heavily if you want to try and catch up there. So, if I get a lot of units, you're not going to have too much fun. Plus one, also getting researched at the time being. And we've got more sentries coming out. Still no sign of any tech though, so it is just going to be six gates, which is pretty much an all-in. It's not completely, completely, you can get it to seven gates if you want to completely all-in off of that. But still, it's a big commitment without doubt. From Tails here. He's got to try and end the game now or deal another lot of considerable damage. But this third base for TLO, that's looking pretty vulnerable to me. It's sitting there all on its lonesome, just like, okay, can't easily push in, can't really easily defend this. It's a bit out of the way because it's in the fourth location. Generally, you want to take a third over here, but TLO was just being a little bit cautious in case there was cannons over at that base too. He's getting Roach Speed and also um, Burrow. Two Hallucinated Phoenix. This is really smart sending two in actually because this is actually where Tails. Um, could force TLO to freak a little bit because two Phoenix at together could be a little bit scary. Of course, once the Queen attacks, you can straight away see that, okay, it's not going to be that. But there was no instant spore callers chucked down or anything like that from TLO at the moment. So he's going to be safe, just getting a scout out. Did he see this base? Uh, no, but he saw the creep spread, so he should know it's there. That's fine. And this is going to be the big bullseye. And just look at all these units. So many sentries already down. Ten sentries. The Mothership Core now adding in. Plus one is, well, nearly completed. It's what now? About, well... Roughly 40 seconds away, some stalkers coming in. This is a sizable number of units about to be making their way across the map. 12 roaches are out to try and help defend this. Speed would just be done if this pushes a bit slow. 20 seconds on zergling speed. Oh, on roach speed, sorry. But no zergling speed. That is definitely not research. There's no zerglings out at the moment. An infestation pit is coming down. And actually, if he goes for swarm hosts and he was able to get up a few, then... That would be quite nice, but here we go. In comes now this massive gateway force, and immediately TLO pulling the drones back, knowing he's not going to be able to hold it. Instead, going for a bit of a counter push, but there's just so many units here, and this hatchery is going to fall. Things not looking too good for TLO at the moment, but he's coming in for the counter aggression. Can he do enough damage here? Well, there's just so many units over on the other side of the map, but Warpins now coming in the natural base. A couple of roaches will make their way into the natural, are going to start killing a few probes. And this is where things can be... Well, you can try and level it out, but the trouble is, TLO, he's now on equal bases once more with Tails, and Tails is starting to deal some damage to these roaches. We've got more photons coming, cannons coming down in order to grant detection. All the gateway units pulling back. Tails feels like he's done enough damage here for the time being, so... I'll just come back, defend, make sure these roaches can't do too much and turtle up a bit more because my opponent isn't in a good economical spot. I'm losing quite a few workers and that's not really what I want. TLO's actually killed 13 probes so far and it's still being a right nuisance burrowing those roaches up and just never what you really want. 
TLO, his approach is, well, I'm going to try and get out Swarm Host, get Enduring Locust up, and maybe just try and win on a War of Attrition. But with Tails taking a third, TLO has to shut that down. Otherwise, he's going to be a base down. He does not have the minerals to take a third hatchery once more yet. He's pumping a lot of money into getting Swarm Host down. He's got a lot of roaches out, and he knows that there's this big gateway force still sitting here. And Tails teching up at the same time. The roaches are going to try and do some damage, but they could be running straight into a trap. If they run in towards the natural now, this gateway force is just going to turn around and be like, yeah, you're dead. The Stalkers, oh, the Stalkers find it, and TLO's got the Roaches on move command for a brief second, burrowing them up. There's no Observer out, so actually these burrowed Roaches can stay alive for a while, but they're trapped here. And it's only a matter of time till more comes out. Tails just sitting right on top of them. TLO, he can try and do the burrow, unburrow dance while he gets a third, while he gets the Spire out, but a photon coming, cannon coming down here for detection. The Observer isn't out yet. The robotic facility is just finishing up. So once we get that Observer out, these roaches are dead anyway. The photon cannon nearly finished. We've got a couple of locusts moving their way forward. Going to try and chip apart at some of this. But there's the Phoenix. The Observer going to help there too. A couple of force fields going down. Just block that out. And there's the quick unburrow. Trying to get a couple of shots off there. TLO double expanding because that's all he's really got the option of doing. He's got to try and get back in this game economically if he has any hope. But he's so far down in supply. The roaches are taking more fire. The first observer is nearly finished. It's going to make its way across. The locusts are coming forward once more. But the swarm host, they're in trouble as well with the observer there. There isn't an overseer out. Oh, so there is an overseer out. But it's just running around in the bases. Sees the third for Tails. And that is not going to be good news for TLO. Knowing that third's down. In terms of the work count, it's 56 probes to 43 drones. The final roach gets taken out. And this could be the final march. And TLO, he knows with the observer there. He's not even going to try. GG. Out of game number one of this best of three. Tails with that cannon rush early on winning the game. So that was game number one. Of this best of three, flick over to my YouTube channel, find game number two, and I'll see you there in just a second.